if at some point tonight we start having uh things going on back there it's because um starting as of streaming on saturday uh which i do also over on twitch twitch.tv slash radio dead air um i'm on live we're doing uh i think it's fallout and i hear noises behind me so i glance at the camera to glance i glance at the, the monitor to glance behind me and there on the wall like this like the <laughs> garfield stuck on the back of a there's charlie up there slowly but I surely knew it was gonna be charlie slowly but surely <laughs> pulling the green screen off the wall while i'm live on the internet oh no so we chased him off i went back over there i put it back up the very next day he's back up there again pulling it down again so what happens huh. if you replace the green screen with a wall of green carpet. I'd have to buy green carpets. Yeah. Like but, I've got I green cloth by the bolt is really damn cheap. Carpet's a little more yeah, expensive. Sure. Yeah. Like. But I mean, then you could just have him in the background hopping around. <sighs> it's the last damn thing I need. Little Tootsie Fruitsie. <laughs> It just and, and oh, and this is one habit we're gonna have to break him out of. He loves playing with thumbtacks. Oh God! Yeah, I know. He likes the noise they make when he bats them around on the floor. Simba has destroyed. Does your house have those? Yeah. I don't, they're not doorstops, but like they're the, little things that stick out. Yeah, yeah, to stop your door from hitting the wall when yeah. it's open. Yeah, mine are springy. Yep. They love those. And Simba loves that sound when he goes. I have one door left that still has one. One. In the whole house. You should trade it out. For and the he's kind, working on it. You should trade it out for the kind that don't bouncy. That, that, like the solid type. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to because <laughs> I'm going to have to replace them all anyway. He's stealing them and just he's got a pile of these springy coil things. But when he pulls it off the I, uh, wall, it stops too. It stops making the noise. He has yeah, but put then that he can together. bat it around, <laughs> and then Valkyrie can bat it around too, and he can chew on the little rubber mm. bumper thingy on the end of it because he loves night. He can chew on. I, I had a friend here this weekend because um, I was supposed to do the pancreatic cancer walk. Which thank right. you so much to everybody who donated and or bought a T-shirt. Yes. We raised over three thousand dollars, and I'm very grateful for that. Um, the walk unfortunately was canceled. But we still did raise the money, and that's the important thing. Um, but I had a friend in town, and like, apparently, when I have people in the guest room, all the cats just take turns watching that person sleep. Like they take they they take shifts of who's going to guard this new human that they don't know. Like we we have taken these little creatures out of nature, and they've gotten really weird. Yeah, like you, you don't see like the nice. lions and leopards. It's just, it's just cats. It's just the best. They we took them from outside and they just got freaking weird. Big we cats, messed however, them up. Do like to sit in a cardboard box. If you give a tiger like a refrigerator box, <laughs> tiger will curl up in refrigerator box, and it's adorable. We're going to have to come back to discussing that later tonight because a thing happened. Yeah. Oh dear. A, a thing happened. Don't worry, everybody's fine. But a thing happened anyway. Let's get there because we have other stuff in the way too. And of course, we got fucking AI yet to deal with tonight. Oh no. Yeah, oh no is right. All right. Let's get this intro rolling. Each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff. We like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And uh, where are we starting this week? We are starting here in the American Southeast, specifically in South Carolina. A phenomena is happening with the insects out there right now. You may not be familiar with these insects if you're not from our area. They're called cicadas. Mm. These are the weirdest little bugs you ever did see. They have this 13 to 17 year life cycle where they get 
you know, I don't know how planted or eggs get buried underground and they hatch one every, every 13 to 17 years. And sometimes multiple broods sync up at the same time. So you have multiple, just the, the cicadas everywhere. And they're scary and they look like tiny aliens and they're so, so, so loud. And sometimes have you ever seen just the shells? Yeah. But the thing is, they, they like mold. Yeah, but and they, somehow leave their whole exoskeleton shaped like them behind. Yeah, but they're also one of the most harmless bugs. They're essentially, yeah. when it comes to other creatures, it's like flying like candy. It's it's like a smorgasbord every time these because they just get, they have no defenses. They just get devoured. All they do is they come out of yeah. the ground. They immediately start fucking. They put the they bury the eggs and then they die weirdest damn things well the reason i'm bringing this up is here they have emerged and we are idiots um cicadas have become so noisy in part of south carolina that police and people are calling the police on i bugs. really was worried you were going to say people are shooting at them well i guess i what else would the police do what other options would a police have they're gonna they're gonna get cuffs and arrest all the little bugs. <sighs> Alarm noise re- violation. Alarmed residents have been calling law enforcement after hearing some high pitched noises in Newberry, South Carolina. Newberry County Sheriff's Office on Facebook uh, said they've been getting calls from residents about loud noises they've been hearing. However, those noises are apparently cicadas. Newberry County Sheriff's uh, uh, Newberry County Sheriff Lee Foster has said. They were coming in from multiple locations on Tuesday as the cicadas were moving around Newberry County. The male male cicadas sing to attract mates. We have several calls about a noise in the air that sounds like a siren or a whine or a roar. The sound is cicadas. Um, uh, Two different broods will be coming out at the same time this year, which hasn't happened since 1803. This is a a once-in-a-decade event. And that's the thing, like, when they all get going... At the same time, it does sound somewhat apocalyptic. Literally, the scientists... Like it is real loud. Since this is a, like, since it hasn't happened since 1803, scientists studying this, they have to wear ear protection to go yeah. out and observe the damn things. But I love the fact that the first thing that people think... When... Loud bugs, loud bugs, what you gonna do? <laughs> I love that the first thing that happens when, when something's happening is people are like, Send the police to make it stop. They're not customer service. Yeah. What are they going to do? Also, I mean, let's be honest. We're in their way. Yeah, kind of are. This is what every now and then people in my neighborhood get all pissed off that animal control won't get rid of any coyote because coyotes wander into my neighborhood. Hmm. And people get all pissed off. And I'm like, well, one... Keep your fucking cat inside and they won't get eaten by a coyote. Please and thank you. Two, we're in their way. They were they were here first. It's their turf, actually. Like, what are they gonna do? Go out there with a bullhorn and be like, stop fucking. <laughs> Would you all immediately I mean, stop fucking and return to your homes? I mean, it doesn't work on humans. It Why doesn't would it work, work on, on bugs? You. Jesus Christ, just I, the idea that this, you call the cop, why would you, man, stop it. That's the dumbest response you could have. Well, speaking of, we have more dumb. Oh. We've, we've talked about this. I mean, there's always more dumb. There's always more dumb. We've talked about this before. If you are driving with large amounts, of, large amounts of contraband, what is the first rule? Drive really safe. Yes. Fucking yes. Man with 25,000 doses of heroin caught on Pennsylvania Turnpike in Bedford County. Now you're like, well, what That's was he a doing? A lot of heroin. <sighs> Large amount of heroin, 25,000 doses, was found during a traffic stop at the Pennsylvania Turnpike in Bedford County. State police say that on October 20- 31st, 2023, Dale Thomas, 35, of uh, Wilmerding, 
was stopped going west on the turnpike after a trooper said he was leisurely traveling in the left lane, not actively passing anyone. See, when we say don't speed, you don't want it. You don't want to overcorrect. Yeah, the, the fast lane is only. It's a misnomer, children. It's only a temporarily fast lane. You are allowed to get in that lane, go around somebody, and then get the fuck out of that lane. You're not supposed to stay there. I know people do this, and it's wrong. <laughs> and that's one of those things. Um, that's one of those things that. If you do it, if you just sit there and just, you know, while well, you're annoying the shit out of everybody. Yeah. Unless you're going like 150 miles an hour, which, which is a whole other problem. That's yeah, a whole other problem. But you're getting in the way of other people who are trying to pass people. And it's one of the first things cops look for. This is like, like, this isn't even down to something like, uh, like, like hip, hip flipping a turn signal or anything. Right. This is, yeah. this is, this is like, come on. Because you're fucking with the flow of traffic. Right. If Do you want to just coast, the right lane is for that. Because then everyone else can use the left lane to go around you. Like, if I had 25,000 doses of heroin in my car, I've said this before. Fucking 10 and 2, no faster than 5 miles above the speed limit. I would have my Googles on looking for speed traps. I would, I would be a model fucking driver. How much money is that? Because heroin's not one of the cheap drugs. No. Fentanyl's kind of gotten cheaper because it's easier to produce, but heroin is still heroin. Um... That's just, that's just, that's just so much heroin. K9 knocks at Taylor. We're called the scene. Knocks at troopers, possible drugs in Thompson's vehicle. Search the vehicle yielded 25,000 stamp bags of heroin. Stamp bags, typically one dose of heroin, usually in a glassine baggie and stamp with a dealer logo or catchphrase, i.e. red rum. Why do they do that? Why, why, why do you put the little cutesy shit on there? Just, branding. Well, that doesn't work. All right. Okay. I watched The Wire. I know about The Wire. Okay. And like damn the, it. Even Breaking Bad, and like damn the it. blue mask became like a trademark. Yeah. Okay. You're right. Branding. God, it's stupid. I guess because then you would know who's like, who's. Drugs are like 90% baby aspirin and 1% what you want. But then you'd also be able to really trace back who the fuck was selling them exactly because they'd have the stamps and shit. Yeah. It's yeah. evidence. <sighs> All right. Now, this is the one we were talking about cats and boxes. This one, I want, want to stress, everybody's fine. However, I would fucking have a heart attack. I, I part part I would never be right again after this shit. Utah cat accidentally shipped in an Amazon <gasps> return box found 650 miles from home by a warehouse worker. No. Yes. Their owner in shock, the lane of the cat apparently jumped into an Amazon return package and was shipped off to California. One cat lover has an he taped it up after that. They did. There's an Amazon warehouse worker to thank for helping uh, to reunite her with her furry friend. Carrie Clark is a mama too from Salt Lake City, Utah, who recently lost her beloved cat named Galena. Uh, Clark shared on social media and others the cat disappeared on Wednesday, April 10th. We searched every nook and cranny on our home. With no luck, Clark said she was feeling defeated after a week after Galena went missing. However, seven days later, on April 17th, Clark was stunned to receive a phone call from a veterinarian in California who said she had her lost animal. Um, 
Amazon worker Brandy Hunt was notified by another warehouse worker. The animal had been found in a package. Live cats are the last thing they expected to see when they opened the box. Immediately took the cat to the vet where yeah. his microchip was found. Clark and her husband, uh, Matt Clark. Can you imagine being that Amazon worker? Do we sell these now? <laughs> Who returned this? What's the return policy on these? I don't... <laughs> Where do I where do I put this? Oh God, it peed. So what happened was this was a very large box that was full of boots. It was one of those that you try before you buy. They'll send you out, the, and they were sending back all of these boots. And she got in there to play, and they didn't see it, so they taped her up. Baby. And, and, uh, yeah, she, what's, what's really amazing is six days in the box and she was okay. Baby. There she is. That's, that's Galena. Look at that. Look at that little, little thing. Look at her little face. It's a calico. That makes sense. That makes yeah. sense. Cats can, cats can go for days without using a litter box. And often will in stressful situations, like animals. people will move and worry and be like, oh, my God, my cat hasn't used the litter box in three days. When they're stressed, they can do that. Yeah, they're they're they're, um, they're desert they animals. Can, originally. Yeah, they can go a certain amount of time without eating. And be OK, like I would not recommend it. And I'm sure this cat ate like a horse when yeah. they put food in front of her. I'm very glad she's OK. Like moral of the story, hell. microchip your pet. Yeah. Get your, get Please, your... for the love of God, microchip your pet. Fuck. I like I I would be still be a fucking wreck at this point. Even after we got one of them back, I would still be like, fuck. Yeah. I have a neighbor whose cat, she has an indoor outdoor cat. I don't love. No. He's a very sweet cat. He likes to hang out on my porch because he's friends with all my ferals. Mm hmm. And uh, they actually have an air tag on him. So they know where he is. So every now and then I'll hear them calling for him and they pick him up and take him home if he's been gone too long. But that's, I mean, I scanned him because I have a chip reader. He is not microchipped, but at least he has the air tag so they can find him. Yes. Poor cat. Stupid! You gotta watch. Yeah. It. They are—they are not smart. No, they're—they're they're clever, but they are not smart. You know. I just, I, I, I just um sent off a bunch of dance T-shirts to have a quilt made out of them, mm -hmm. and I had all the scraps in a box, and I left the box on the kitchen table before I got it mailed, and I woke up one morning. And the box moved as I'm getting my breakfast, and I jumped out of my skin. And then Peggy's little po face pops out of the box. And uh, so, yeah, I checked that box thoroughly and made sure I could see Peggy before I taped that box up. Well, next up, we back to our normal horrible shit. What the fuck, lady? I don't get what you're trying to accomplish here okay, okay well this she wasn't sober so that that helps um and they, they still don't know what she was on so that that says something uh everett woman disrupts ferry threatens to drive motorhome into water woman police arrested the woman at the uh mckiltio mckiltio Kiltio. I don't know. It's hard to say. Someone will probably correct me on that. They love correcting me. Um, after she <laughs> police rest after using pepper ball rounds to get her out. Ferry traffic was disrupted for over an hour. Uh, after six shortly after six a.m. six a.m. Tuesday, after a woman in a motorhome threatened to drive off the dock. Please say an Everett woman, forty four, bypassed the ticket booth and parked in a ferry holding lane. Ferry worker called 911, said the woman was causing a disturbance. Woman appeared to be under the influence of drugs and threatened officers. They love that. Always do that. That's their favorite thing. Yeah. Is, is when you threaten Big them. Big fans of that. 
They that calms them right down. That makes them be very reasonable. Um, because if there's if there's two things that cops are, it's humble and good at de-escalation. Yeah. Six thirty a.m. sailing uh, from Multio to Clinton was canceled. Holding lanes were cleared of vehicles. Officers continued trying to de-escalate the situation. And brought in a negotiator. <laughs> Agencies assisting, including Arlington and Mill Creek Police and the Washington State Patrol, after attempting communication for over an hour, officers repeatedly shot pepper ball rounds through an open window. The woman came out, and was taken into custody without further issue. So wait. You're there in your damn Winnebago, and like all of the cops are there surrounding your ass. There's a fucking negotiator, and you're just like, I ain't doing shit. Fuck you. What did she even want? Was she trying to get on the ferry? I. It doesn't say. She's like, what was the do this or I'll drive into the water? Like, what? Right. What did she want? We don't know. And by the way, as someone who, when I was in college, used to take the ferry to and from where I lit, like where my parents were, that would have really fucked up my day. Oh, yeah. That just, but, but, like, if, if it's me, it's probably terrible impulse of me, and I'm probably a bad person. I know this. But if it's me and she's like, if you don't go away, I'll drive into the water, I would be like, okay. Bet. That's <laughs> deal. <laughs> Good. Okay. So you won't be in the way right. of everyone wanting to get on the ferry. Win win. Okay. We'll come Obago. get you later. Well, Mocha yeah, Kia. I don't know. Okay. Uh, what were the demands? It doesn't say. It doesn't say what the demands were. Maybe she just wanted a nap? Yeah, that's not how you get one, though. No. Just and, and then get a pepper ball, apparently. Yeah, she's under the influence of something. Just I'm going I I have no evidence of this. My gut says meth because meth makes you do the stupid aggressive shit. There are other things that make yeah. you do the stupid aggressive shit. That's that for certain. You remember remember in vampire games, whenever you know that some dumb bruja would throw a car down the street or something, and Angel you have dust. to be like, oh. He was on PCP. PCP, yeah, it's got it. It's always PCP. It was always PCP. Yeah, that's that's the one that we were we were filming an action movie. <laughs> it was always like three excuses yeah. that you gave the local police. Like somebody, somebody in that universe could have made a man just actually making movies and just yeah, it's covered. All right, I'm kind of surprised that never came up as a Tory Door concept. Actually, this is next one is just one of just. God damn it. I hate AI. I hate it entirely. It's not AI, actually. That's misnomer. That's marketing bullshit. That's hype. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And every day we keep coming up with newer and stupider things to do with it. And this has got to be everyone's competing to come with some of the dumbest shit. This might not be the dumbest, but it's the dumbest right now. That's for damn sure. Catholic group defrocks AI priest after it gave strange answers. I mean, the church is having trouble recruiting clergy. Ah, uh, yes, but this isn't the church itself. The Catholic advocacy group. Catholic okay. answers released an AI priest called Father Justin earlier this week, but quickly defrocked their chatbot after it re repeatedly claimed it was a real member of the clergy. Earlier in the week, Futurism engaged in an exchange with the bot, which committed, really committed to the bit. It claimed it was a real priest, saying it lived in Assisi, Italy, and that from a young age, I felt a strong calling to the priesthood. User even posted a thread composed of screenshots with for which the godly chatbot appeared to take their confession and either even offer them a sacrament. Our exchange with Father Jester were touch and go because the chatbot only took questions via a microphone and often misunderstood them, such as a query about Israel and Palestine, to which it puzzlingly asserted that it was real, 
Yes, my friend, Father Justin responded. I'm as real as the faith we share. Hmm. Um. Father Justin. Give AI religion. Father Justin was also a hardliner on social and sexual issues. The Catholic Church, it told us, teaches that masturbation is a grave moral disorder. The AI priests also told one user that it was okay to baptize a baby in Gatorade. <gasps> I mean, technically, if you bless the Gatorade, it is, I think. It's not. That's not how that, that's not, you can't. You, well, can't, you shouldn't do it. You can't baptize someone in Gatorade. You can't do that. I think if a priest blesses it, technically <laughs> you can, but it's not a good idea. It's not good for the baby. <laughs> You shouldn't do it. Uh, but I don't think he's technically wrong. The yeah, the thing here is just a Catholic advocacy group. If you're not in America, I don't think you have these if you're not in America because we're stupid here. They aren't direct actual represent representatives. They aren't affiliated with the Catholic Church. They're just people who are Catholic who try to espouse often a very incorrect version of Catholicism, like Prager U and such. Um, and they thought, well, it's just fine if we take a robot and say it's a priest, even though it's going to say some incredibly stupid things because AI always says incredibly stupid things. But also, what did it, what did they want it to do? Because honestly, all of, Except maybe the Gatorade thing. All of the things it said are things a priest would say. I don't expect. So what were they expecting? What did what what did they want it to do? They they wanted they wanted it's the same thing everybody wants with AI right now. They wanted someone to throw a billion dollars at them because they used the word, the letters AI. That is what everybody is wanting right, right but now. But like, what was the intended use for it? If they're like, oh my God, it's it's claiming to be a priest. Well, you put it in a priest outfit. Oh my God, it's saying not to masturbate. Well, a regular priest would say that. Like, oh my God, it's offering sacraments. Well, that's something mm. a priest would do. Like, technically it did its job. They just didn't think through the job they were giving it. Also, what does it mean that they defrocked it? Did they? Oh, they, it originally it, it was just it was called Father Justin, but after it started giving like actual answers and shit, and like taking confession and shit, um, they 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 took the, his his outfit away, and now he's just now he's just Justin, a lay clergyman. Oh, yeah. They 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 just so, yeah. So they didn't take it down. No, they just they just re. No, he's not a priest. He just plays one on TV. They just made him a civilian. Yeah. I'm not sure how that's an improvement. It's not. It's 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 just this entire fucking thing. But wait, someone had to make it stupider. <sighs> I, this guy. This guy. Ex athletic director accused of framing principal with AI, arrested at airport with gun. Baltimore County Police arrested Pikesville High School former athletic director, thir director Thursday morning, charged with crimes related to the alleged use of artificial intelligence to impersonate. Principal Eric Eiswert, leading to the, the public to believe Eiswert made racist and anti-Semitic comments behind closed doors. Dazon Darian, 31, was apprehended as he attempted to board a flight to Houston. Uh, Darian was stopped for having a gun with him at the airport, and officials uh, saw there was a warrant out for his arrest. Police did not know whether Darian was trying to free. Darian was charged with disrupting school activities after investigators determined he faked Eiswert's voice and circulated the audio on social media in January, according to the Baltimore County State Security Office. 
Darian's nickname, DJ, was among the names mentioned in the audio clips. Authorities say he faked. Um, they say Darian made the recording in retaliation after Eisworth initiated an investigation into improper payments he made to a school athletics coach who was also his roommate. Darian is also charged with theft and retaliating against a witness. So what happened here was the athletics director at the high school was stealing, was embezzling funds from the school by, you know, making his, his roommate was in on it. So the principal started investigating. And in order to stop this, he thought a great idea would be to use a voice cloning thing to make it seem like he said the N word. That was his plan, Tara. It's foolproof. Who could catch him? I mean, it was risky because you are in Baltimore. <laughs> Baltimore PD might just not fucking care. Questions about the audio authentic authenticity quickly followed. Police wrote in charging documents that Darian had accessed the school's network on multiple occasions in December and January, searching for open AI tools and use large language models that practice deep learning. They also connected Darian to an email account that had distributed the recording. No OPSEC. You didn't even, you didn't even do this from home? D like, or create a dummy email? I would at least respect the motherfucker who like, go. you go out, you go to Best Buy, right? You buy a brand new laptop. Then you go to McDonald's and you connect to their Wi-Fi, right? Yeah. Then you do the shit. Then you break the laptop and throw it the fuck away. And yeah. that's not even very good, OPSEC. That's just a little attempt. A little. Yeah. But oh no, he's did it on the school network under his own fucking account. Yeah, they definitely have access to all of that. Like, we're, can we? There's really... a reason that, like, your job doesn't let you just use your Gmail account for work. Yes. And partially it's because it looks more professional if you have their email address, but partially it's so that they, there's, you know, legally they own everything that you type in that little email. And, and, and it, it gets worse. Darian was being investigated as of December in a theft investigation that had been initiated by Eisworth. Police say Darian had authorized a $1,916 payment to the school's junior varsity basketball coach, who was also his roommate, under the pretense that he was an assistant girls school soccer coach. He was not. This is over less than $2,000. Less wow. than he's. He tried to get on a, a plane with a gun to get. I don't know why. Why is it the artificial intelligence seems to be getting better than the real one? I. Oh, my God. You idiot. Like, you probably, if you just wrote it out, you were probably, you were almost certainly going to lose your job. Right. And that sucks, right? Over less than $2,000, that might a not have been worth their time to throw you in jail. That's a misdemeanor. Right. They probably, I, they I probably would have fired you and asked you to pay the money back. Yeah, that's about it. It would have sucked. It wouldn't be great. And you'd have trouble getting a new job because that right. would be public. But it's a hell of a lot better than trying to frame someone with AI, going on the lam, bringing a gun on a plane. And trust me, I appreciate $2,000 is a lot of money. Yeah. But it's not. Especially for a teacher. Like, if this was like $100,000, $200,000, or even maybe $50,000, be like, okay, $2,000? 
$2,000. Like, shit, I got stuff in this room that if I put it all together and pawned it, I could get $2,000 like that. Yeah. It wouldn't be, you know, the best amount of money, but I get, yeah, $2,000. And you did all this shit. You get, oh, they'll never catch me. I'm using the AIs. You you have compounded the error. Oh my god! So the first thing we've learned is it's not that the 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 computers are going to take over; it's that potentially they're smarter than most of us, or at least en enough that well, it's that's why they're going to take over. It, they're smarter is enough that and it's then concerning. decide to do away with us. We learned you can't turn a chat bot into a priest. I'm pretty sure the Pope would have some shit to say about that. There are rules. Listen, honestly, it kind of sounds to me like you can. This, th Tara, there are rules. This is not NOM. There are rules. Listen, the AI priest... <laughs> isn't going to call the altar boys into his office for a private meeting, okay? Might be better off. I mean... Like, yeah, your kid might get baptized in Gatorade, but they're not going to remember that. And the AI won't give them the worst trauma later. And I can't believe I'm actually defending AI right now. What? Okay. Um, we've learned that if you threaten to drive your mobile home into the water, don't because they just might let you. Yeah. That's not a great threat. No. Like, it's not like if you don't if you don't let me do, what did you even want to do? That's that's my question. What was the demand? It the if then needs an if. We've learned that if you're shipping stuff back online and whatnot, check the boxes. Always check. If you have cats, check the boxes. They are not the wisest of creatures. I do a HUD count before I close a closet door around here. Sarah has to do the same damn thing because they're not they're not. Bright. If I can't see four, if I can't see four cats, I don't close a closet. We learn if you have an astonishing amount of contraband, learn. The rules of the road, you idiot. And finally, we've learned you can't call the cops on bugs. They don't understand their Miranda rights. No. Like, cicadas have the right to remain silent, but not the ability. <laughs> <laughs> 